Hi everyone, it's Mark Lee here again and welcome to another Merlin's Magic Monday. Now a few weeks ago I told you a little bit about the Collector's Workshop Viking Company. Fantastic company, produces really high quality, super effects. Uh, so today I thought I'd like to take the opportunity to show you a couple of them. Now the first one I'm going to show you is the uh, Wonder Silk Vanishing Tube. Now we used to have these in stock several years ago but they've been off the market for such a long time. I'm really pleased to say that we've now got them back in stock. Stocks are limited but they are available in stock right now. Um, so let's have a look at the Wonder Silk Vanishing Tube. So this great effect uh, consists of a few little bits of apparatus, the main body being the, uh, the brass tube. You then use a uh, silk handkerchief and you place the handkerchief deep inside the tube all the way in there. You can very, very cleanly see that it, it pretty much fills the entire capacity of the tube. The other thing you need is two caps, one for each end. So you place one cap on the bottom of the tube and the second cap on the top of the tube. So you see the silk handkerchief right at the very last second. Your hands are otherwise empty. This can then be handed to a spectator, if you wish. They take off the caps to discover that the silk has completely vanished and everything can be I guess, examined. So that is a fantastic vanish, a delayed vanish of a silk handkerchief which can be then left in the spectator's hands. So if you want to vanish a silk and cause it to reappear elsewhere or you don't want to use uh, the standard methods, this is a really super version. Uh, that's the Wonder Silk Vanishing Tube. The other Viking Collector's Workshop item I'd like to talk about today is this little number. Uh, it's a card box and it's known as Fatal Attraction. It's, uh, it's a little known effect actually, it's, uh, it's not a common one, um, but these are now in stock and there's loads of different things you can do with them. Let's uh, take a look at a couple of my favourite ways of using the Fatal Attraction card box. And actually I'm going to help me with this one, let's show you something with a, a deck of cards and uh, a box. I'll just place that down there for the second. Um, before we begin, I'd just like to spread out all the cards so we can have a good look at those and make sure it's all mixed. Very yeah. shuffle deck of cards, yeah? I'm going to select one of these cards, and the way we're going to do that, I'm going to just riffle down the edge of the cards and just shout stop. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, here we go, just say stop. Stop. Okay. Look at that card. Happy yeah. with that one? Yeah. I'll show that to the camera, hope it picks up on the camera there. And let that go. And we'll give the cards a little shuffle. You can remember your cards, yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool. Now I'm going to give you the cards and I want you to just run through the deck and when you find your card just place it face up on the table. I'll save you the time, I wouldn't bother. It's not there. It's not there, is it? No. Let me just spread these cards out. What was your card, by the way? Five of clubs. You can look all the way through the cards and there's no five of clubs in that deck. If we take a look at the card box, hopefully oh, there's something inside there. And there is indeed a playing card. Just one playing card, nothing else inside the box. And what was your card? Five of clubs. It just happens to be five of clubs. Okay, Sharon, this next one, I've got two items for you first of all. I'd like to keep all this envelope. It contains a prediction, which we'll come to right at the very end. So I'll just make sure you keep your eye on that and you don't switch it or swap it or do anything sneaky. <laughs> and the other thing we've got is a deck of cards. I'll tip all the cards out of the box. And first of all, I'd like to just give the cards a shuffle for me. So you know the cards are all fairly mixed. Okay, now I don't want to touch the cards, I want it to be a really, really super clean experiment. This so I want to keep the cards face down in your hand mm -hmm. and I want to deal them one at a time face down into the box. Okay. That way that I just make sure it goes into the box. Lovely. And that way I can't manipulate the cards or influence you anyway. Whenever you feel like it, just stop completely free choice. Happy there? Yeah. Do you want to deal a few more cards or no. definitely happy there? Yeah. Do me a favour, just take the cards and just place them face up there. And say I don't really want to touch anything because I that's where blind cheating and just spread them out the best you can. Uh, basically, you just want I just want you to have a look and make sure that all the cards are different. And if you've got a few cards more, you would have generally stopped on a different card. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to square those cards, I'm not going to do anything sneaky. 
and this is the card you've stopped on. Yeah, again, I don't want to touch it, just reach in there and fish out that one card if you can. Okay, and we'll just tick all the rest of the cards out to show that if you've got a few cards sooner, again, all these cards are different. Yeah. But you stopped on one card. What was the card for the first time? You stopped the King, King of, of diamonds. diamonds. Okay, so that was the card that you stopped on. And if you remember right at the very beginning, I gave you an envelope and said it contained oh, yeah. a prediction. Yeah. I'd like to open the envelope and have a look what's inside. Should be a plain card from a different deck. And you can see we've got a red back. Only one card in there. Yeah. Yeah. If we take the card and have a look, this happens to be an exact match the King of Diamonds. Thank you very much.